Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. By popular demand, it is time for Free Pattern Friday. Yes, an episode of Free Pattern Friday. I've done some research. I have three crochet patterns and three knitting patterns to share with you. So let's get started. First of all, we'll start with the crochet patterns. Now, if you're into amigurumi and doing amigurumi wars, this is a great little pattern and I highly recommend you sign up to My Crochet Chums. It's a free pattern, you get one a month and this one is 72 and it's the Kiwi. It's very cute, not very many parts for me if I have to sew them on. Now I printed off US terminology but it does come in English terminology as well. So each month she emails you a free pattern and it's numbered. So I highly recommend if you're doing Amigurumi Wars and you follow a pattern, by all means sign up. I'll leave a link in the description below. But I do like this month's Kiwi. I think he's very, very cute. That's pattern number one. She uses that um, Catatonia, Shrepti's Catatonia 100% cotton and a 2mm hook. Catatonia is like a, um, a four ply or a sport weight. It's a thick four ply, so yes, um, kiwi, very cute. Now, shawls, this one, I have a feeling Karen Wright may have pointed this one out to me, and I think it's just stunningly beautiful. Whether I make it or not is another thing. It is the Oolong Shawl by Red Teapot Atelier. There you go, the Oolong Shawl, isn't that gorgeous? It could do have to do with all the colour combination, but that is lovely. It's a free pattern. All free patterns are on Ravelry. This particular designer also has other patterns that you can pay for if you're interested, but this is the free one. It's in US terminology. She uses Hobie um, rainbow cotton 8x4, a, a 3 millimeter hook, and yes... It is very pretty. I really do like that. The Oolong Tea Shawl. The red teapot got me in. <laughs> so that's crochet pattern number two. Now this one might not be for everybody, but it was something Doreen Emma's mum picked out for me to make for my little friend Emma. Now if you're new to the channel, welcome. My little friend Emma has cerebral palsy and he's wheelchair bound. And her mum said, she would love these in purple with black glitter or some sort of glitter. So here you have it. Uh, drops design, let's walk shoes. Now, the smallest size of this is still too big for Emma. Actually, it's a little bit big for me and I'm only six and a half. So I've had a couple of attempts at making it smaller by measuring the sole and hopefully I will get there. They use Drops um, Nepal, which is Aran weight. I'm going to, for the first pair, because she said you can make a 12 pairs if you like. Uh, I'm going to try it with Spotlight, Spotlight Super Saver. And I have some glitter yarn. It's not black, it's grey. And it's like pinky glitter. So they'll be purple, grey, pinky. So hopefully when I do get it right, they look pretty good. And Emma wants to wear them. Because being in a wheelchair... It's getting a bit chilly now and they look pretty cute and trendy. They will if I glitter them up. So yeah, drops Let's Walk shoes for my friend Emma. But if you're interested in a little pair of shoes, especially for someone in a wheelchair that's young and wants something a little trendy, she doesn't want the circular bits on the side. That was something she didn't want. And Emma's very particular about what she wants. <laughs> So that's our three crochet patterns for our crocheters. And I hope you found something there to inspire you for my knitting subscribers. So I have a feeling I saw this on my yarny corner. It's been in my library and um, Alex made them. The old sweatshirt, sweatshirt socks. It's definitely a tongue tie. There you go. Look fairly easy. I haven't made a lot of socks so I thought maybe I'll make these in scraps but I'm not so sure now. I've got a sock set that might look pretty cool in those if I decide to have a fourth go 
at making socks. There are fingering four ply or um, and needles are 2.25 but yeah the old sweat shirt socks. I wanted a longer slouchier pair and I think this is pretty good. So there you go if you're looking for a free sock pattern that's a little different. So this one I've knitted I don't think it was last year might have been late the year before. I sold it straight away on my um, stall at the market. And it is a beautiful beanie. It is the Leany beanie. There you go. Now, I think someone actually sent me this pattern with something. And I had, thought, that's really nice. And I had a go. But I think it's advanced beginner, maybe intermediate for a few reasons. They make it in DK or worsted weight yarn. Circular needles 3.5 to 4 millimeter and it's worked in the round. But you do need to know how to do a provisional cast on. I think when I made it I didn't and I had to learn. But it did turn out really well and the pattern looks really cool for something a little different. So as you may be moving into autumn and winter up in the northern hemisphere here you have a new beanie that you never tried. Or if you have, let me know. I do have a picture of mine, so I'll put it at the end of this video. The Leany beanie. So this one was something I picked because I liked the name. I thought it was like really unusual. I know when people are looking to um, name their yarns and things, they struggle. This is the lettuce wrap. Ta-da! The lettuce wrap. Got a better picture here. Get on. Now I saw this and thought I do have the yarn they use is Karen Cakes. That's pistachio. I've used my pistachio, but I do have other colours. So if you've got Karen Cakes in your yarn stock, certainly worth trying it for this. It's a six millimeter circular needle. Now you may need to be intermediate bordering on advance because the cast on is a garter tab cast on broken seed stitch stockinette garter ridges broken rib and a bico bind off so there's a bit of work to do in that that isn't just straightforward as it looks there but i thought it was pretty cool it really does look good and i like the name the lettuce wrap now this i haven't said who the designers are this is your look Yolanda Sheehan, the lettuce wrap. The Leany Beanie is by Isabel Kramer. And I don't Knit Tail Direco. I think that's who it is. Doesn't really have any other name for the slouchy shop. So they're the knitted designers. Of course, this is a drops pattern though. And I think I told you that one and that one in the crochet, not the knitting. So there you have it, guys. That's my free pattern Friday. I hope you've inspired you if you're looking for a new project. Or maybe you could use some of your yarn in your yarn stash. And um, maybe the beanie, the socks, who knows? Just depends on what you've got in your stash. But remember, if you do make something from Free Pattern Friday, please post it on Instagram with the hashtag Free Pattern Friday. Did I have that? Yeah. Free Pattern Friday AU. I find you by looking for the AU. Or you can always email me your photos and give me permission to share them if you don't use social media. It would be really great to see um, if someone actually gets out and makes maybe the lettuce wrap. <laughs> because a lot of us have quite a few carrying cakes, especially in Australia. They seem to go on sale quite a bit. Anyway, guys, to those people that asked, I hope you're happy with Free Pattern Friday for June and you're inspired. Until next time, stay safe, stay, swe stay well, and make sure you have a crafty day making something new. Bye for now.